you know, obviously everyone looking for moves today, but for you as a GM, this started for you a few weeks back with Trevor Reza coming to the Blazers, which has really worked out. Let's talk about that. Right. Everybody looks, you know, over the last hour, what happened? And there was clearly, you know, there was a lot of activity from certain teams. But, you know, for us, look, we came into the season with the highest payroll in the NBA. Uh, we we're going to pay the biggest luxury tax bill in the NBA. And because of all the injuries, I mean, we're missing 60 percent of our starting lineup. It just wasn't responsible to have a payroll like that. So we went into the trade deadline weeks ago knowing we were going to want to shave our bill down. We wouldn't get under the tax because mm -hmm. to Jody's credit, she did not want to convey a first round pick. She didn't want to give up any basketball assets that would give this opportunity less of a chance to compete for a playoff bid this year so we did you know we we felt like in that trade we got the best player in the trade mm -hmm. um the draft assets we conveyed to sacramento were significant but they're so far down the line they don't affect our ability to compete now mm -hmm. or in the immediate future um yeah and then today you know we just had an opportunity um you know we love scal um he's not capable of playing right now or for the foreseeable future and we needed to make sure that we have as many healthy bodies on the floor as possible. I mean, clearly we're still missing Nurk. We're still missing Zach. We're going to miss Rodney for the season. So we just didn't have the luxury of keeping guys on the roster that weren't going to be capable of playing during this, you know, push over the next three to four weeks. What was this trade deadline experience like for you versus past seasons? Uh, you know, a little different. Um, you know, this is you know, we were in the tr we were in the luxury tax last year, but we went in deeper because we really felt like we had a chance to compete for a championship, and that run ended with the Western Conference Finals. This year was a little bit different. Um, you know, we like the guys on the roster that are bird players that we can re-sign next year, guys that have non-guaranteed contracts that we're really considering keeping on the roster next season. So it was really more about how can we manage our payroll at a more responsible level while still allowing this team to compete at a high, as high a level as they possibly can. Um, you know, we think the roster's trending up, you know, lately. Uh, we still miss, obviously, Zach and Nurk. Um, but, you know, the little run that we had prior to the trade deadline showed this is a roster that can compete right now and then still have the potential to improve when those guys return later in the season. Thanks for your time, Neil. Got it.